Well, the much anticipated warm spell has arrived. It's been advertised here on my blog for the past week now, and uh, it certainly is panning out exactly the way I thought it would after that, uh, you know, uh, seemingly endless spell of cold and unsettled weather. Now, folks across Northern Ireland today, I'm sure you are saying to yourself, where's this warmth mark? Well, the reason why you're cloudy, you're cooler, is the fact that you've got this feature here to blame. A very large upper level trough and, and low pressure that's spinning away across the North Atlantic. Any shipping that's uh, crossing the, the North Sea, or the North uh, Atlantic, should I say, between North America and Europe, certainly could be seeing some decent spills out of this system here. But it's these two wheels of weather that is affecting and drawing in the heat as well as building that high pressure. Now this feature here, this upper level trough kicking off showers, thunderstorms, cooler temperatures is what was a what was basically over the UK and Ireland a few days ago. What it did is it pushed southwards and then southeastwards. The reason why we're seeing that warmth is as that pushes southeastwards, it then pulls this warmth that was originally over eastern parts of Europe, over Russia, is starting to slide eastwards. As it also slides southeastwards, it also allows a region to start developing west of Iberia. That will push northwards. The warmth and the ridge, as they meet over the UK and Ireland, will then support temperatures into the high 20s by Thursday and Friday of this week. So yes, for the next couple of days, it's not going to be a, a short-lived warm spell. I do reckon that we are going to see warmth, sunshine and balmy temperatures for right up and through the weekend ahead as the high pressure starts to build. Now I'm going to show you the sequence of events here as it unfolds. What I'm seeing here, now of course, with plenty of sunshine during the daytime, as temperatures cool off, the air temperature starts to meet the temperatures uh, more over the water. As that happens, it then pulls in fog, banks of cloud and mist inland. So when you pull back the curtains each morning, you're looking at yourself and saying, it's very cloudy, it's very dull, it doesn't look as if it's going to be a great day out there. But then once you start to, once that sun, sun starts to rise in the sky, certainly is that uh, early in the mornings at this time of year, of course, then that uh, mist and fog will then start to peel back to the coastline, allowing those sun, uh, sunny skies to, to return again. And of course, that will do a work on those temperatures as well. But the ridge of high pressure is going to start to build more. You think it's warm this afternoon, folks. It's not really that big of a deal compared to what I think we're going to see later in the week. Now, you notice here, heights aren't overly strong, yet we're still seeing plenty of warmth. Thank that breeze coming in off that very warm continent, and as well as that, a southwesterly breeze in the upper levels, all transporting that warmth over the UK. Now, by Wednesday, you can start to see heights build more. This area of troughiness becomes elongated, joins up with an eastern trough. That, of course... Pull southwards, open the door to this warmth to push in towards the UK. At the same time, we're seeing that ridge starting to really build over the UK and Ireland. When you start to raise the heights, warm the upper levels of the atmosphere, that of course raises the depth of sinking in the atmosphere. And as you do, uh, as as it does so, uh, then uh, the greater the depth of sinking the warmer the temperatures are going to be at the surface. Now, of course, as that land starts to heat up, then we see uh, sea breezes kick in. So along the coastline, if you're starting to struggle with the warmth in the land, go to the coast, you'll get a nice breeze blowing uh, from about late morning onwards as that land starts to really heat up. By Thursday, you can see here the ridge of high pressure centred just off to the northeast of Scotland. What does that tell you? Well, when you're near a centre of high pressure, winds should be quite light. And of course, that will allow that warming to really enhance and uh, we could be looking at temperatures. I think by Thursday, we're talking about somewhere in England, uh, anywhere from uh, the south central parts of England, up through the Midlands and even in the southern Scotland, we could be looking at temperatures of between 27 and 29 Celsius. By the weekend, I reckon the core of that heat is going to shift further northwards. By Friday, you can see here plenty of warmth. The, the return to more settled conditions over France. Notice the, the colours starting to show up over parts of Iberia. As that warmth gets lifted north from, from Morocco, Algeria, and uh, of course when the, the 
trough deepens over the North Atlantic, that then transports and actually shoves this warmth here northwards. I really do think, folks, that even forecasters underplaying the temperatures at the latter part of this week. Now, I did notice earlier on in the week, uh, by uh, the latter part of last week, when they were starting to talk about the warmth of this week, the numbers were too low. They're starting to uh, raise their numbers now, adjust their numbers, I thought right uh, right away, given the circumstances that we would see temperatures uh, basically in the uh, in the upper twenties, and I think that will be the case. Even today, we could be seeing some temperatures of twenty six, maybe even at twenty seven. Parts of Scotland, you might even see near twenty five today. I think those temperatures are going to be cooler than what we're going to see in a couple of days' time. Now, this is Friday, and into Saturday, the high pressure remains dominant, so we're not going to be seeing a cool down. Some of you think it's going to cool down and there's going to be more in set weather once again. I don't see it at the moment. Now, things can change, of course. But this feature here, off to the southwest of the UK, you've got oranges in between that, folks. You've got warmer, you've got settleder, you've got high pressure and control. That would not allow any unsettled weather to develop by Saturday and into Sunday. You notice what's happening here? You've got actually some oranges starting to show up over Scotland and the north of England. That would tell me that we're going to be seeing the, the warmest temperatures of the whole week by Sunday. If this model pans out correctly. Now we've got an upper level feature. It's starting to approach the southwest of the UK and southern Ireland. That may introduce some cloud cover. Some slightly cooler temperatures here, but I think the bulk of the UK, with the core over Scotland, will remain in place. Plenty of warm weather, and I do reckon we could see a 28 Celsius somewhere in Scotland by the time we get to Sunday. Now that could actually be uh, one of the warmer temperatures that we've seen in a couple of years across Scotland, I think. But Sunday and into Monday here, folks, now we're looking into next week. It's a good bit out, so we're, we're, the accuracy, of course, is not as high. But do you notice here that the high pressure remains in control over the UK? And yeah, I, I, in a sense, Ireland as well, only we're starting to see that influence probably of that low sitting off to your south and southwest by Monday and into Tuesday. And that is when we're starting to see the changes taking place. High pressure, yes, in control. But what we're seeing here is look at that trough that's digging into Scandinavia by Tuesday and into Wednesday. That's when I think we're going to start to see the changes taking place. By middle part of next week, we're going to really start to see temperatures drop off. Monday evening, uh, Monday and Tuesday might be slightly cooler with perhaps an odd easily wind blowing we could be seeing wind direction that pulling in cooler air but i still think high pressure rules the roost right into about wednesday of next week then we start to see the changes look at that by thursday the 31st of may we've got more in the way of lower heights the high pressure getting shoved to the south we've got cooler air trying to work its way and it could turn more and settled as well so i do think over the next five to six days perhaps we're looking at dominant sunshine, high pressure and control we're going to be seeing uh, fog and cloud cover at night, that's going to peel back to the coastline, as the land heats up we're going to see the sea breeze kick in temperatures widely over the next three afternoons could be pushing the upper 20s in, in parts of England, the mid 20s for Scotland, but I think by the weekend we start to see slightly cooler temperatures so perhaps 28 29 over the, the course of the next couple of afternoons across the south of england they may be trimmed back to about 24 25 while the hottest weather actually takes aim at scotland and we can see 28 i think across parts of the central highlands perhaps the north highlands up by uh, aviemore or perhaps out in the could be looking at a 28 somewhere uh, by uh, by sunday afternoon lots of things can change folks and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens but i don't think we're going to see that cool down that uh, change that unsettled weather through the upcoming weekend keep checking back and i'll keep you posted hope you enjoy the sunshine folks bye-bye